Ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely disappointed that I cannot be with you today and send you my profound apologies, as I fear I shall be in the process of returning from the other side of the world. Um, my introduction to salmon fishing started on the River Dee at the age of, I think, seven, and made an indelible impression on me. Since then, I have fished whenever I have had the opportunity and have followed the fate of salmon stocks closely as patron of the Atlantic Salmon Trust for the last 35 years. In 1967, the year the Trust was founded, almost 8,000 salmon were caught on the Dee in Aberdeenshire, of which about a quarter were spring fish. 50 years on, the total catch has declined by a half, and the proportion of spring fish is down even further. This dispiriting downward trend is replicated over the whole of the United Kingdom and, for that matter, all around the Atlantic, with the total population of adult salmon reported to have declined from 10 million in 1985 to less than 3 million today. Against this background, I could not be more pleased that the, the Atlantic Salmon Trust has been joined in this forum by the Game and Wildlife Conservation Trust, uh, Salmon and Trout Conservation, and the Angling Trust. Having our, our four leading salmon conservation organizations working together through the Missing Salmon Alliance, with support from both the private and public sectors, is hugely encouraging. We all understand by now that the reasons why the Atlantic salmon is in decline all around the Atlantic basin are complex and take their toll everywhere, from the headwaters of spawning streams, via rivers and coastal waters, to the remotest feeding areas at sea. Climate change, uh, unsustainable exploitation, dams, pollution, aquaculture, water extraction, uh, and an imbalance between predators and prey species all play a part at different times. And of course, all these factors interact with each other. The situation is certainly complex, but if we do not adequately start to address this long list of problems, the very future of a species that has been swimming our oceans and seas for over six million years will be in jeopardy. Ladies and gentlemen, we simply cannot allow this to happen in our lifetime. Understanding the situation in much more detail is the essential first step to reversing the decline. However difficult that may seem, the evidence from detailed studies of other fish whose future was in question, such as cod, is that it is by no means impossible that the key is to use the now established likely suspect framework to gather the evidence and devise management solutions. You will uh, hear more about this framework during the course of today's events, but in essence, it breaks down the salmon's life journey into different domains and establishes the quantum and cause of mortality within each domain so that managers can be provided with the practical tools they need. Every headwater, every main stem, every estuary and the wide spaces of the Atlantic Ocean will each present its own specific problems and require its own individual solutions to reverse the trends that have been apparent for so long and uh, that are causing such concern. There is also, <clears throat> dare I say it, more at stake here than the fate of the Atlantic salmon. This species that we all care about so much is a type of aquatic canary for wider environmental change. The song it is singing tells us a great deal about the state of our freshwater and marine environments and the need to behave responsibly to look after our natural resources. If we cannot limit climate change to a manageable level, which I must add needs to be a great deal lower than the current appalling trajectory, 
and stem the accompanying rapid loss of biodiversity, the consequences will be unthinkable. So, as well as understanding the story of the salmon, we need to reflect carefully on what it is telling us about our own precarious situation. Ladies and gentlemen, reversing the decline in the Atlantic salmon and protecting this iconic species for future generations is a hugely important task. It is also formidably difficult. However, I'm convinced it can be done if we combine energy, endeavour, science, technology and common sense, and if we start now. I can only wish you all a fruitful day's discussion and much look forward to learning of the progress you make.